Welcome to this short video outlining the major new features introduced in AutoView version 7. We will start with the new and enhanced procedure selection panel, making it easier than ever to select your required procedure. Also, we have the option of linking to the materialized websites to view some of the advanced 3D solutions available from our company. Also now users have the option of pre-selecting their implants for their chosen procedure before starting their plan. In the scaling panel, new enhanced icons allow for easier selection of the image direction these icons will be specific to the chosen procedure. Also, as well as the original Im image manipulation tools, there is now the option to draw a line across the image and have the image rotated so that line becomes the true horizontal or vertical plane. For example, in this situation, we can choose the vertical placement option, draw a line down the tibial shaft, and then click on the Make Vertical button to rotate the image to correct the orientation. If desired, the rotation can be undone using the Undo Rotation button. You can then manipulate the points to correct the orientation and try again. In the Analyze stage, users now have the options of reordering the wizards that appear in the panel. Clicking the arrows will allow the order to be changed. Also, unwanted wizards can be removed from the list by clicking on the red X's. Additionally, through the Add Wizard button, additional wizards can be added to this list and this list, the wizards in it and their order will be remembered as per the user preferences. The new cup positioning wizard allows marking of anatomical landmarks and provides an additional optional positioning choice for the acetabular cup at the templating stage. The wizard allows marking of the teardrops, the medial wall of the acetabular and the outline of the acetabular socket. To begin with, drag the handles as shown to mark the teardrops on each side of the pelvis. Next, using the third handle, we will mark the medial wall of the acetabular socket. Then, with the handle on the top of the circle, the superior point of the acetabular socket. And finally, with the second mark on the circle, outline the acetabular socket. Another new wizard is the cup antiversion wizard. This wizard allows measuring of the version angle of an already implanted acetabular cup. To place the wizard, first tick the box to activate the wizard, then drag the blue circle to mark the outline of the implanted cup. You can drag the entire circle and also the handles on each side to match the outline of the cup. Finally, using the internal handle, drag the ellipse so it marks the edge of the cup as shown. The value displayed then will be the version angle of the cup. Please note that AuthorView is not able to determine whether this is anti or retroverted and that will be a decision for you to make. In the templating stage, we have added a new wizard called the Femoral Stem Insertion Depth Wizard. This provides an alternative measurement to the collared neck cut guide to mark stem position. Once activated, this wizard will be automatically attached to the top of the femoral stem. And then a manual point allows for marking of the greater trochanter or any other preferred landmark to measure the stem insertion depth.
With the addition of the cup positioning wizard mentioned earlier, there are now alternative options for positioning the acetabular cup. The two new alignment options are to femoral head. This is the traditional reference point used by OrthoView and is located on the circle marked in the smart hip or hip AP joint wizards. The to acetabulum option will center the cup on the circle marked with the cup positioning wizard. The user can freely swap between the two options, but the positioning will only change if the appropriate wizard has been used for that choice. If the user manually repositions the cup for any reason, the double arrow box allows resetting back to the default position. Further enhancements to the template panel include the moving of the measurements box to the top of the panel. This panel still contains all the same measurements as previously, just in an improved layout, and also provides options that we're ready for future enhancements of the software. Another new feature available all through the software is that any of the measurement bubbles can now be left clicked and dragged to move them away from their actual measurement point. This allows for better viewing of anatomy in those areas. There have also been a number of enhancements to the ability to display the report information on the X-ray view. This now contains a lot more detail and more information than in the previous version. Modifications to the content can be done by left clicking the box at the top right of the panel. Here, individual sections can be added, removed, the order of those sections can be adjusted, and individual pieces of information within those panels can also be modified. As before, you can also adjust things such as display style, the size of the fonts and the colors of the boxes. Changes have also been made to the high tibial osteotomy wizard. It is now possible to manually adjust the target mechanical axis point. Initially, this is defaulted to 62% or the Fuji Sawa point, but left clicking and dragging the blue handle allows that point to be manually adjusted to your desired value. Finally, two major features, the case management option and template management options are covered in separate videos. For additional hints and tips relating to every stage of the planning process, use the Smart Help tab located on the right-hand side of the screen when using the software.